What's up guys? Thank you for watching another one of my videos. My name is Nurse K. For those of you that are new to this channel, I am a registered nurse. I actually work in the ED and I'm a new grad. Um, but with that being said, if you are a new grad like myself, if you are a nursing student, you're a pre-nursing student, you're trying to get in or any of that, or if you're an OG nurse and you're want to drop some knowledge on me what was made for you guys and so subscribe down below and join the experience with that being said guys let's get started Kanisha Moore Woo! Um, to talk about how I chose my um, how I chose my specialty so for those of you that are new to this channel welcome um, I work in the ER and I've I've started, I started in June. I'm a couple of months in now. I'm starting to get a little bit more acquainted. I'm starting to get a little bit more critical thinking and things of that nature. Um, but the journey to getting into the ER was a little difficult for me. I was a tech on IMC, which is intermediate care. And uh, basically it's kind of like step down ICU. Whenever I was still in nursing school, we we're getting to the nitty gritty, we we're about to graduate. And I just, and I knew I wanted to be in the ER. And so I was talking to my, my manager on IMC, my director, and she was like, when do you graduate? Whenever you graduate, I want you to, you know, I want you, I want you to work up here. I was like, she was like, do you want to work on IMC? And I told her, I was like, honestly, I don't really want to be in the, e I don't want to be on IMC. I really want to start in the ER. When I got time to apply, I applied to the ER. Sometimes it's not about who you are. Sometimes it's not about what you know. Sometimes it's about who you know. I would not have obviously got the job if I didn't have my director as a reference because it's a level two trauma center. Like it's hard to get into that as, as a new grad. I don't think they take new grads like that. So um, very, very honored. Um, I would not have got it if it wasn't for my director on the floor. I would not have gotten it if it wasn't for all the awesomeness that, you know, I was able to achieve on that unit. You know, with so. that being said, you really have to find out what makes you happy. Do your research. Uh, do your research on what makes you happy. Do your research on, on all the different departments, all the different, you know, do you want to work in a big hospital where they have renal floors and respiratory floors and cardiac floors, or do you want, I work in a smaller hospital. We don't have floors like that. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to decide what kind of, what kind of hospital you want to work in. After that, you have to decide what unit you want to work in. Kind of look at your characteristics. You know, if you're meticulous, if you're, you know, OCD and things like that, you know, maybe you deserve, maybe you want to be in the ICU. ICU is really OCD. When you're in the ER, you have, you really have to be fast. You have to be quick. You have to be able to, to switch up. You have to, you know, like you can't really, you can have a plan, but you have to understand that that plan isn't always going to be, it's not going to be see fit. Like you get there two hours later, they change your assignment. You know, you're a, uh, you're a team player. 100%. You are not a team player. You like to work on your own. You like to be solo dolo. Maybe ER is not for you. Uh, I could not be able to do everything. I uh, do everything, get everything done if it wasn't for the people that I work with. And that's how ER really is. So like, really kind of see your characteristics, kind of see, you know, how you are with other working with other people and, you know, what, what actually makes you happy. 
there was a lot of girls that went to uh, labor and delivery that I graduated with. Throughout the whole program, people were really questioning. Some people changed their what they wanted to do. But when we got to the last semester, people really started to hone in on, okay, I want to be a psych nurse or I want to work, um, you know, I have kids, so I want to work, you know, and, um, you know, I want to be a school nurse for a little while or I want to be a home health nurse. There was a lot of different places that people wanted to work and it was cool to see because the last semester, whenever they would tell me what they wanted into or what they were looking to go into, it fit them. You know, it fit their characteristics, it fit their personalities. And so, do your research, guys. You don't want to work in a, you don't want to work on a unit that you're going to be miserable on. And get that resume up to date, start throwing, you know, start, start putting those applications in, start getting the interviews. I got my job before I graduated. A lot of the people that I went to school with had a job before we graduated. So, I mean, push it, you know. There were people that told me, maybe you shouldn't start in the ER. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. It's not easy. Uh, maybe you should start on the floor. Like, I had a multitude of nurses actually tell me that. You really should work on the floor first, get your speed up, get your prioritization and critical thinking up, and then it wouldn't be as hard starting in the ER. I mean, and I mean, that's probably true. I mean, it probably would have been easier, an easier transition. Instead of going from a new grad to an ER nurse, maybe it would have been easier from going to an IMC or tele or, you know, med surge nurse to ER. Excuse me. Probably would have been easier, but I mean, Let's be real, I knew I wanted to be an ER nurse from the very first day that I started nursing school. So um, I could have listened to them, but then the hospital I work at is a, you, when you're a new grad, you, you sign a contract for two years. That means that I would have been on, on a different unit that I didn't want to be at for two years. I'm sure I would have learned so much. I'm sure that I would have, you know, been more adaptive into the nursing, into my nursing career before I got into the ER. However, that you can only take what people, you can only take people's opinions so far. Had I listened to them, I would be in a unit that I wasn't happy at for two years because I felt like I had to do my time. But I also had a plan B and a plan C. So yeah, for me, I'm lucky and I'm thankful and I'm humbled to be able to start where I wanted to start. And sometimes that's just not the case. And if that's not the case for you, then that's okay. It's okay. That means it's not meant to be at this time, but that means you're gonna rock it whenever you get there. Sometimes that's what it is. And it's not to say that you're a failure because you didn't get the first pick, the first pick you wanted. Um, it just means that, you know, you're gonna learn, you're gonna rock it, and you're gonna get to where you wanna go. Just be positive, uh, throw as many applications as you can. Other than that, guys, that's all I got for y'all. So until next time.